This is a normal sized Ford van. Any of you could buy this van. And this is a crazy ass wood stove inside that van that took like two hours to install. That's it. Again, very doable for any of you. So I'm Ryan Bell and this is Great White. My house for the next few years until I buy my future sailboat. Well, actually, first I'm gonna buy another van and then I'm gonna buy a bus and then my sailboat. And then uh, maybe a submarine too, if I get enough money, you know? <laughs> but this is my life from now on. So um, come join me on the road in the outdoors embrace. I use this wood stove for heat and sexy time because this thing is romantic as f It usually, right before bed when I'm trying to warm up my blankets and pillows to cuddle, I use bamboo, which is cold when you first touch it. So warming it up beforehand is great. So for the rest of the night, I sleep under two comforters to keep the heat in. Turning on the van engine to heat the back right before bed definitely warms the air, but it's just not the same penetrating heat like the wood stove, which really warms your bed before sleep. So the wood stove burns in here until I go to bed and then it dies soon after, but it stays warm for hours through the night because of the embers and the coals inside are hot. So why did I get a wood stove in a van? Well, I was once stuck in Norfolk, Virginia when I first started van life and I was trying to help out a friend. And at that time I was looking into all of like the, the heating options for van life. A wood stove just kind of stood out to me as being one of the best, uh, great conversation pieces for the van, you know, like for my channel. Plus I thought I could actually use the, the you know, the wood out in nature uh, for, for the wood stove. And I thought this would be a good idea. Little did I know this wasn't actually the right idea. But honestly, this thing has been the best decision I've ever made for my van. Well, no, not actually. Um, but honestly, I really do love this thing. So this is my crazy ass wood stove. And yes, it will drive you out from the heat it puts off. This thing works so well, I need to keep my fan up top running, pushing air inside to cool it back down. There are a few other wood stoves small enough for a van. I'll leave links in the description below so you guys can do your research. But I opted for the Cubic Mini Wood Stove so you can get this one on cubicminiwoodstoves.com. I just thought it looked the nicest for my personal build. This is the flue right here. If I keep it all the way up where it is, it's getting the maximum amount of air. But if I put it down just a little bit, or all the way actually, it's killing the fire. It's gonna smother it to death because it's not getting much of any air. So I'm gonna put it somewhere in between. But realize when you put it down a little bit, it's producing more creosote because it can't burn fully. Hotter is all the way up, lower temps is all the way down, and in the middle somewhere is probably a sweet spot to keep it burning the longest. Definitely not the smartest thing to do, but I'm heating up my taco from Taco Bell. Yeah, baby. Let's get this going. Is this wood stove safe? I put it in my van, so yes, I did my research. There is nothing that can explode, unlike propane. And the surrounding surfaces, like right here, and right here, and on this side, they're all cool to the touch, like when the, you know, the full blast uh, is going and everything. So this is actually one of the safest ways to heat a van given diesel heaters, propane heaters, wildly inefficient electric heaters, dumbass candles, and so on. The only thing is that a flame produces carbon monoxide, an odorless gas which can kill you. You can help protect yourself though by getting a carbon monoxide detector. I keep it underneath the wood stove. And also keep your windows open and your fan running at all times for airflow. The last thing about safety, if you are concerned about the particles coming from the wood burning, add an air filter. A HEPA filter removes 99.97% of particles in the air and controls smoke pollution. Not this one, because this one is way too small to do anything noteworthy. But hey, we're all gonna die someday anyway, right? Wrong. 
I am immortal. I've noticed I can actually drive up to highway speeds with my wood stove burning and my chimney up. Just a little fun fact, it doesn't mess up or put smoke everywhere or catch fire where it shouldn't. I have a Patreon where I upload exclusive vlogs. One shows my personal uh, life around friends with my fireplace going on um, in my van. So uh, check out the description below to access those videos. There's also more content there too, not just videos. By the way, this entire video is being filmed right here. Ugh. What about stealth? Because I'm always trying to be stealthy in my white work looking van house thing. When I first installed the wood stove with my chimney up top, uh, people just stared at my van, which was kind of nerve wracking. Uh, so when I'm not using it, I found a cap from Home Depot that just kind of caps on the top of the pipe so it lowers the height, making it way less visible. This definitely solves the issue because people just stop looking. The smoke coming out of the top is another issue easily solved. About 10 minutes into wood burning, the smoke actually gets clear and you only see heat waves. Now, this only happens when you use dry wood. Let's talk about types of wood. So the best woods are going to be hardwoods that burn for a long time and burn hotter. There is something called creosote that is always forming in the pipes, which can eventually clog up your wood stove and, and even cause a fire in the chimney pipes, which can be very dangerous. To minimize this, you want to get wood that will burn long and high, which is typically 90% dry hardwoods. Fine green wood out in nature is just not ideal. Even if it seems dry, it just won't be so hot and it will produce more creosote. Hardwoods such as oak, ash, and most fruit trees like applewood are going to be the best burning woods that will give you a much hotter and longer burn time. I find all my wood at locally <laughs> I find all my wood at local grocery stores. Walmart and Publix carries oak and apple, which are both my favorites. They are in the same section that carries charcoal and fire starter usually. If not, look in the outdoor section. Now you will want to avoid getting softwoods like pine and cherry wood because Walmart does carry cherry wood. These will burn way too fast, not very hot, and may quickly clog your system with creosote. Here's a list of all of the ones you want to avoid. So wood stove installations typically require measuring, cutting a hole, then fixing the items in place with a drill. Let's go over that now. So first things first, I laid out everything in a house and just like put it all together and like, you know, the whole entire thing measured the distance between each pipe. And that's kind of like my measurements. Right. And then I cut a hole in the top of the ceiling right there. And um, it went through the metal as well and through all the insulation, the reflectics that I put, the plywood and the cedar. So then I drilled the hole in the metal last and then I drilled through the top of the metal just to get down. So then. I drilled next to the holes for the screws for that top piece. That's that piece actually is made for a ship deck, like a boat. And it, um, then I, I screwed that on and put it down. And then this is what the bottom of it looked like now on like from the inside, that piece up there with all the holes in it, that's to keep the heat out of the ceiling. So it doesn't get too hot up there. You know, it'll get too hot otherwise and maybe burn the insulation up there. So make sure the insulation is far enough away from that metal pipe in the middle. It is a double walled pipe, but then you put all the bottom part together uh, just to see how, where it's going to fit and then hold it up to the wall and measure where it's going to go. And then you start drilling in the, the back part where the, the shielding, and then on that shielding, you put up the wood stove on top of it. And basically that's it. Like you just like screw everything in and together and you're good to go. And it just works. Just make sure you install the shielding properly because the shielding should not be touching the back wall. Also take a look at this website because it's going to tell you exactly the parts that you're going to need for your personal build. You can pick and choose which ones you want, but there are a certain amount of core parts that you will need. Like everyone's going to need for, you know, of course, like the wood stove itself and like the double walled pipes. 
get those, you know, like, but they're, yeah, just look at the list. It'll show you what you need. So to clean the glass, you're going to want to actually take out some of the ashes that are inside, sift through them, and only pull out the fine ashes that are in the inside. So then you're gonna use that to clean the glass. See how it's just coming off? There's also some extra cleaners you can get for this, but this is by far the easiest and free once you get wood. It's gonna get dirtier before it gets cleaner. Rawr. So I stored this long thing <laughs> under the wheel well of the bed. So on the website, it says to take off those screws, that one and that one, and those two little panels come down and all that stuff that you just cleaned out of the pipe up top, that all falls out of there. Is a wood stove for you then? It's really all up to you, but now you have way more ideas from this video, hopefully. I personally definitely want one in my next fan, but I'll also be getting a diesel heater for most cold nights. A diesel heater sips on diesel and is super efficient. Like two liters of diesel can last four days of high heat. I've been told by all my friends with them. Plus it's on with a push of a button. If you want something that's like really easy and efficient even, don't get a wood stove. It's just not something you can go out and just find green wood for because it's just not, it's not gonna be efficient. You're gonna have to be cutting your wood all day long. Go get a, a, a diesel heater instead. But if you want something that's super romantic, sexy, and like just fun in general, like a conversation piece, get the wood stove. It's amazing. I really, uh, in the beginning, I really do mean it was one of the best things I've done for my van. It really was. That was just a joke when I said it wasn't, but honestly, get it. It's, it's, it's amazing. You won't regret it. I post a lot of videos on how to live van life and personal blogs from my life. If you guys want to see my personal van tour, all this, this van, then click, uh, here. No, 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 click here. That's it. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to this channel though. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.